Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature in the SharePoint page text web part. So first of all, let's create a new page. I'll go to the new, I'll click on page. I will choose the blank page and I will create it. So we will have a new uh, page with a banner and now we can actually add a section, define how we want it. Currently we have also a text web part. If we don't have it, we can also add it separately by clicking the gray uh, plus and choosing the text web part. So we have now the text web parts. Let's add some text. So I will go to here and I will paste it. And uh, as you see, nothing has changed. But the new feature that we have in the text web part is the line spacer. So as you notice, the default is 1.3. If I mark all of this and change uh, the spacing, so uh, you see this is one space, which is quite close. Then we have 1.2, 1.3, and onwards and onwards. And you can see as we go uh, to larger numbers, the spacing is larger. And uh, before you could not do anything, you would just need to click enter and whatever the spacing was there, uh, was there. You couldn't adjust it that much. So let's just set it to something that looks reasonable. I will paste again the text just to see uh, the behavior. Uh, so now if I'm uh, in at the end of the first paragraph, I can go to the line spacing and I can choose paragraph spacing, add space after. You see it automatically adds the space. Now, if I'm here, I could also uh, say remove the space after. Now, if I'm here, I could also say uh, add the space before. And it's adding uh, to the paragraph before a space and make things very uh, nice to, to look. In addition, uh, there's uh, new functionalities regarding bullets. So if you choose here, you can have a disk bullet, as you can see, test one, test two. And if you want to change it, you can change it actually from a bullet to a circle. You see here it has changed. And in addition, you could add some um, square. If you want to remove it totally, you could say none. In addition, you can also set some numbering. So if I go here, number list, I could choose that it will be a number. I could switch and say I want it now alphabetically, ABC, or I want alphabetical small letters, so small a, small b, small c, and we could change it to Roman and to Roman uh, small letters. In addition, uh, we could also, as you can see here, you can decide that uh, you want to start uh, from a new number or take the actually the last number. So start from one, and you can uh, or you can play with uh, with it. So uh, thank you for listening, and I hope you learned something new. And uh, follow my channel, and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.